Hi everyone, Happy New Year. I'm filming this on the 31st of December, but I'm posting it on January 1st, 2020 because it's time for a fresh start. I've changed my channel name, I've also changed my Instagram name, and I'm gonna hopefully eventually retire all things that have the name Unmanaged Mischief attached to them. That was my previous YouTube name. I've gone by that the entire time I've been on YouTube. It's a name that I came up with in 2009. It was originally my Tumblr name. My Tumblr doesn't exist anymore, thank goodness. I was 16. It seemed like a cool, fun name. I didn't really think that much about it, honestly. Uh, and when I made my YouTube channel, it just seemed like an easy thing that I could port over from my Tumblr to my YouTube channel. Again, I didn't think about it that much. I wasn't that concerned about like SEO or like what my channel name said about me back then. It was book related. I wanted to have a book channel. That's pretty much as much as I thought about it. Over the years, multiple times considered changing my name. First of all, Unmanaged Mischief is too long for a Twitter handle, so my Twitter handle has always been different than my YouTube name, my Instagram name, which has kind of bothered me. I would like it to be the same on all of them. I think that just is easier for everyone. But more than that, just more than convenience, I've had issues with having a Harry Potter related name for a long time. I've never been like a Harry Potter channel. That's not a core part of my identity. I like Harry Potter. I, I won't deny that. I enjoy rereading the books. I don't really care for the movies, but I buy into, you know, the merchandising. I liked doing the, the Harry Potter studio tour when I was in London. I enjoy it. I think it's a big part of my childhood. It definitely helped me get into reading, but it's not a big part of who I am now as a reader or a creator. And JK Rowling has said some really stupid things and offensive things, hurtful things, misguided things over her time online. I really wish she would just stop talking. So there have been multiple points where she has said something offensive or foolish, uh, and I have thought about changing my name. I've brought it up a couple of times. People have always assured me, you know, separating the art from the artist, all of that, just because she did this thing doesn't mean that that reflects on you, but I just feel like it kind of does. I feel like if you're not aware of what recently happened, I don't really want to go into it too much, but JK Rowling is a turf, and you know, I don't want people to assume that I uh, agree with her stances on things, that I support them, and I believe that by having this name and keeping this name, I'm in a way kind of endorsing her behavior because I'm saying, you know, it's not bad enough for me to want to remove myself from it. I felt like in the past I was able to let it slide or hopefully in my brain separate myself from the series and everything, but I think it's just really hard to do that. People the only see a small fraction of who I really am on the internet, what I choose to put on here, and I want to be more conscious of the choices that I'm making and how I present myself because I can't explain to every person who comes across my channel that no, no, I'm not like really big into Harry Potter and that I, you know, agree and support J.K. Rowling. I can't say that to every single person, but I'm saying that now and I'm saying that by changing my name so that people won't mistake me for condoning that behavior, thinking that it's acceptable at all, because uh, I don't. And so those for those reasons, I thought it would be a perfect time to just change my name. I thought about doing a, like another like fun pun. I love a good book pun, but I've also always wanted people to know what my actual name is, and I've never thought of a good way to fit that into a username. So I just decided to use my existing Twitter handle as my new name. It's Bookish Sabrina. It's not the easiest thing to say now that I'm saying it out loud, but oh well. But that's my name. It's Sabrina. You know, I could have done some kind of like witch pun, but I've had to live with those my entire life and I don't really like them that much, honestly. So I just decided to do Bookish Sabrina. I think it sums up who I am as a person, what I'm here to do. I like books. I'm here to talk about them. And that's my name. Because um, I've always felt a little uncomfortable saying, hi, this is Sabrina. Welcome to my video. Like that doesn't come across as natural to me because I've never had those lines built into the kind of the, the formula of how I talk on this channel. Because let's be real, like I start and end every video basically the same because it's just ingrained now. It's become a habit and it's never felt comfortable to like introduce myself at the beginning of every video. So hopefully my name will do that for me because it's actually my name. So that's the short version of why I've done this. I think it'll make me happier and more comfortable online, so I've just decided to do it. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Sabrina. I make videos on booktube. I've been here for six and a half years, which is wild. I've made 
a hundred book reviews. I hope to make many more in the future. I also like to talk about my master's program, which I'm doing in library and information science. I hope to make more videos on that as well. But just in general, I like talking about books on here and this is me. If this is your first time encountering my channel, I will link some videos that I think are accurate representations of my reading taste in the description. I don't really have anything else to say other than that. This is just, I feel like, feels right for me, so that is what I'm choosing to do, and I thought that I wanted to like explain why. So I've done that now, and here I am. This is my new channel. I'm not going anywhere, I just wanted to change my name. So now you know, and I will see you in the next one, which should be my favorite books of 2019 video. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.